In this week's video, we take a trip over to the Gulf Islands to Galliano Island to explore its natural beauty and get into all kinds of shenanigans. So follow along and see what we get ourselves into on this trip over to the Gulf Islands. I think they might be filming here. Well, who is it? Ghostbusters. Or other odd jobs. <laughs> who are you gonna call? <laughs> Ghostbusters. <laughs> I think they might be filming here. Well, who is it? Ghostbusters. Or other odd jobs. <laughs> who are you gonna call? <laughs> Ghostbusters. <laughs> Hello, everybody. As you may have been able to see or may not, we are at uh, Galliano Island and we are in search, oh, we actually came earlier and found the uh, sandstone caves uh, here on Galliano Island, but it was so busy with people, we decided we'd go back, have something to eat and come back for kind of a later in the evening shot. So now we're gonna make our way down there and I'm not sure what the tide looks like. I'm not sure if we can get around there or not. We'll have to have a look. The tide is very high. Um, we're walking where we were walking last time, but as long as I can get around high tide is not for another hour and a bit But I don't know if we can make it around um, Yeah, we can still I'm gonna go as fast as I can here Without falling in And hope that I can still make it to the cave And get a decent shot high tide is in an hour Got a decent sky tonight anyway. Um, yeah, it's gonna be, yeah, I can still make it, so. Probably gonna just uh, set up quickly and get a shot here and uh, make sure I can get in and out before the tide gets into you. Let's, uh, let's frame up a shot. So here's what it looks like inside of the sandstone cave. Pretty cool, I know it's pretty high, uh, high dynamic range, so I'll probably have to take two different exposures. Let's set up and get a shot. Okay, so sorry it's not the easiest place to film in and I'm shooting back into the light. Um, you can see I've just kind of composed this shot here, basically. Um, I've exposed for the highlights, so I've got it at uh, minus one on the exposure compensation, but this camera's got such high uh, shadow recovery. And uh, yeah, it's here's the shot that what it looks like in the camera at the moment. Uh, obviously it's gonna look different once I expose it but uh, basically it's uh, that's the shot on the back of the camera exposed for the inside and that's what I've exposed for the sky and uh, anyway this first shot from um, from the little sandstone cave here turns out any good here it is I'm gonna take this shot too, it's nice.
I like it with all the... Gonna have to work a bit quick here though just to make sure we don't get blocked in. Okay, so hopefully that shot turned out. I found another killer shot here and I'm trying to get it before the tide comes in and uh, basically here's the uh, back of the camera. I've got this awesome uh, carved sandstone here in the foreground leading up into this other sandstone feature here with these cool cliffs and that in the in the right kind of half of the screen and then the um, the water in the island in the left hand side of the screen. I'm doing a vertical image just because um, wide angle, I'm not sure, it's, I just like the vertical a little bit better. I'll take one wide angle too, but I like the vertical because you get more, more of the sandstone feature in the foreground. But uh, yeah, if this new uh, vertical composition turns out any good, here it is. So I did, I shot it uh, F, I think it was 11 or 13, I can't remember. And I did do a three image focus stack. Uh, I focused once here on the rocks and uh, once about halfway here in the screen and then once towards the back just to make sure that everything's in uh, sharp focus. So hopefully it turned out. If it did, you just saw it. This isn't gonna be a terribly long video because I was expecting to do a bunch more exploring today and we got uh, kind of skunked. Beautiful spot here. I'm gonna try one um, horizontal too. Okay, I think we better ski daddle because all of this was uh, above water when we got here and it's now underwater. I've seen photos of this cave when it's in water, so we are gonna make our way out of here quickly. Okay guys, let's go. Very cool here though. Really cool formations. So you can see the water line in here. So when really high tide comes, it does get in here. So we don't want to be here when it happens. Okay, guys, let's go. Last thing you want to do is spend the night here. I'll fold up my tripod when I get back around the other side. Because I might need it to paddle myself with. Go ahead. I don't want to get too panicked because it doesn't necessarily get that high, but nine o'clock is high tide and you can see there's tide features in here. So it's already getting to the point where you have to be a bit careful in certain spots, especially like right there. You could go up and over this though if you needed to, which, uh, yeah, I might just do that. I might just go up this way. Ooh, that's pretty nasty. Okay, I'll just go down here and put my foot in here, sacrifice my left shoe, go to here. Oh, okay, made it. This is the other concerning area, which it's not too bad yet, so let's see how she does it. Okay, your turn. Show them how it's done. <laughs> okay, we went to that rock. Yeah, yeah. And then you gotta go to that. You got to go to that rock that's on your right. This yeah, one? yeah, it's just got a little bit of water. Just step there. Hey. It's okay. Yikes. Just step there. Yeah, and then step over to here. I can. Yes, you can. Oh, okay. Or there. That works. 
either way. And there's a, uh, I guess in case you have to spend the night, a random piece of driftwood and a toothbrush. Hey, how did you get up there? I do love me some arbutus trees. I don't know, there's something cool about these trees. That one's half alive, half dead. You can see it's sort of alive here and not as alive here. So she's still uh, making her way, hugging the rocks. You could get cut off here pretty quick. I'm gonna go here, which is, I'm getting a bit wet here. Okay. So this is the corner that could be in question if you really got uh, some high tide. Be tough to get around that corner. You could go up and over, I guess, but it's pretty slick. So the rest of it's not too bad. Anyway, I guess that's it for tonight. Let's see what we get tomorrow. We'll see you all tomorrow morning. So how was um, everybody's experience at the sandstone caves? It was good. Yeah, and yeah, you? Beautiful. Painful? Beautiful. Oh, I thought you said painful. <laughs> That'll be $20. $20. $20. Here. E transfer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Monta Mont Montague, however you want to say it, whatever your accent is, wherever you're from. I'm going to call it Montague Harbor. Uh, turned out. And that'll be it for tonight, so have a good night. We'll see you in the morning.